you're in the eye. I think that's a, I don't know what that is. Hey, we're Brandon and Alyssa. We saved $30,000 so we can travel for a year. For the first part of our adventure, we've decided to move into our Prius for an epic summer road trip from San Diego to Canada. We have no itinerary, no idea how far we'll get, and no clue what we're doing. All we know is we plan to go until one of us decides, here's good. Good morning, everyone. We finally received our first rain just outside of Cleveland, Ohio, along Lake Erie, en route to Buffalo. We are going for chicken wings in Buffalo, New York, home of the original Buffalo chicken wing. If you know me, you can't know how excited I am for that. We're gonna go see the Niagara Falls up close. After that, we're going to Cooperstown to see the Hall of Fame. So I could not be more excited for the next couple days. We would have definitely quit if it rained at all this whole trip. <laughs> that was way hard to set up in the rain. Scott's house yesterday in Chicago. We've done Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and we're almost in New York. Uh, lots of states. I missed all of the signs, obviously. <laughs> Here's one coming up, state line. Oh my god, I'm determined to get the sign. Dude, it's a lame one too. This is like a highway one. Welcome to New York. Cue the Taylor Swift song. Welcome to Vancouver. No, New York. It's New York. It's a wedding on you. After paying $19.50 to the state of Indiana in tolls. We've decided to use the avoid tolls on our Apple Maps. These roads are so much prettier than the highway too though. We were just driving down this side street and we saw an awesome view of the lake and there's this really cool uh, old school lighthouse right here. So we're gonna check it out. of Lake Erie. It was built in 1829, it's 40 feet tall, and it was the first natural gas lighthouse in America. Next stop, chicken wings. The rain's gonna start and it's gonna go until 10 p.m., but we have to figure out something to do between now and then, because we can't set up in the rain. So we're gonna go eat some wings. We watched quite a few YouTubes on best wings in Buffalo. Top of the list was Duff's. It's a bit in the suburbs, but we're headed there now. It's honestly been like a dream of mine to come to Buffalo and eat wings. Buffalo is known for three things in my mind. Bill's football, chicken wings, and my good friend, Sarah Scalzo. <laughs> no Bud Light, just blue light. First bite of a wing. It's not quite as spicy as I was hoping for, but the skin is perfectly cooked. The chicken is still juicy inside, and you get that butter, that savory flavor. Coats your mouth, hangy, really, really good. They sauced their wings with warm hot sauce, and it kept the wings hot the entire so experience. Hot. Crispy on the outside, but they just fell right off the bone. They're so tangy, like sour, but in a good way sour. The sour makes you want to go back for more. We got three beers and 10 wings, and it ended up to be 40 bucks. So that is exactly how I dreamed it up. An excellent wing. It was exactly how you would anticipate it. I definitely think it could have been spicier, but to start off, bang it. Everyone was kind of parked on the sidewalk, so I just followed suit and did the same. Not sure if that's right, but that's where we're parking. Mm. 
Gabriel's Gate for our next chicken wing. This time we decided to go with the suicide, so they're a little bit spicier. Alyssa's a little winged out, so she got a French onion soup. Oh Lord, this was a good decision. <laughs> The chunks of onions are huge. It's delicious. <laughs> These ones came with a warning. She said I'm not allowed to touch anything in the restaurant after I eat. <laughs> they smell like liner fluid. That is the heat I was looking for. It is immediate. It coats your entire mouth in that hotness. It's tangy, but not quite as tangy as duck's. The skin is way crispier. The meat just falls off the bone. Yo, <laughs> this is the real deal. This is legit. I can't imagine finding one better. These ones are great. Uh, they're bigger than the last place, and they're spicy. Uh, I would go with the hot. Don't get the suicide. Phenomenal wings. Maybe lay off the suicide. These are excellent, and some of the best I've ever had. I'm tapping out. <laughs> But because I'm full, let, let the record show that it's because I'm full, not because they're too spicy. Look at this cool rest area. We are winged out <laughs> for the night. Gonna call the Welcome Center of New York home for the evening. Good night. <laughs> a nice little sleep in the We got coffee, we got water. The tentative plan is to try and find a beef on weck. It's a traditional buffalo sandwich, and then we're gonna see if we can check out the Niagara Falls. We are supposed to go ride the Maid of the Mist, which is like this tour boat that takes you right up against the Niagara Falls. They give you ponchos. It looks totally miserable, and the weather is to match. I'm not a huge fan of being remarkably uncomfortable, but our girl Sarah said that we had to do it. She Venmo us some money. So to honor her, we are going to do the Maid of the Mist anyway. Is this crazy rain? Yeah, Buffalo weather is no joke. We were at this nice rest stop that was nice and sunny, and Brandon was like, we gotta go back into Buffalo. We need beef on wet. <laughs> so somehow we're supposed to go outside. I think we're just gonna wait a little. Right? Yeah. Every type of rain, like the Forrest Gumps, and they were like, there was sideways rain. Yeah. Rain just seemed to come straight up from the ground. <laughs> in the RV, rain is amazing. It's like soothing, nice, and in the Prius, it's like terrifying. I'm going to brave the storm. So I'm just gonna run to the place, hopefully. I don't really know where it is because it's in a weird building. We'll see how it goes. Go this way and then to the left. Okay. And then the entrance is the red building. All right, we'll catch you. I'm soaked. I have to look up what building this is, but it's really cool in here, super old school. And there's just this like meat carvery right in the middle of it. Charlie and the Butcher. Got it to go, now I just have to sprint through the rain again to get back to the car. Easier said than done. It looks even worse than when I came in. Bro, that was fast. Dude, this better be a bomb ass sandwich because <laughs> I'm like dripping from head to toe. I got two sandwiches and a soup because it seemed like soup weather. The napkins are cute. That's Charlie. He's famous for his beef on whack. Does anybody know what beef on whack is? Like, like, yeah, unless you're from Chicago or New York. Like, I've never heard of this. It's only a Buffalo thing. Yeah, it's not even anywhere else. It's like really hard to find outside of Buffalo. What is whack? The whack, sandwich? It's the type of bread that it's on. And it's called Kemowick is what it's actually called. It's basically like a Kaiser roll but they egg wash it and dip it in sea salt and caraway. Wings and beef on whack? Yep. They're really doing yeah. it here. There's a little bit less caraway than I would have anticipated. They serve it with a super intense horseradish sauce. Uh, it's got a pickle. And then she actually carved this by hand. This is the beef. It's like a roast beef and it looks like it's like saturated in that beef juice. It was nice, medium rare. It looks really good. All right. 
First bite. Oh, dude, that's bomb. It appears that they dip the bread into the juice just on the bottom half. It's nice and juicy, and the meat is not actually that salty. Every time a piece of that caraway and that sea salt falls off the bun, it like seasons the entire dish. Wow, I, I need more. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, I like that. The beef is bomb. I usually like my roast beef like thinner. This probably isn't roast beef, but I love it thick. The saltiness of the wet bread is so good. Crispy on the outside, but because the inside is juicy, it's like soft. The hot sauce is amazing. It makes it so spicy. Not too spicy, but gives an extra kick. Man, and the sea salt on there. Who knew that's what I needed? This is great. I would come back for a beef on wet. That thing slaps. That should be everywhere. It was worth sprinting in the rain for, for sure. There's trees in the middle of the road. So Brandon and this guy are stopping. Bro, he was like meant for this weather. Roadway clear. The instruction has been diverted. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that's a bucket of chicken wings. <laughs>